Hey guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial today. And today we're going to be looking at the cloth modifier or the cloth um, system within Unity 5. Now it's changed a little bit since we've seen it in Unity 4. Now I did a few tutorials on it previous, but I thought and a few people have actually asked how to bring it up for Unity 5. So it really depends on how you're going to do it. You can bring in a model from a 3D program and apply it to your scene, but I'll show you directly in Unity of how you can actually do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to say game object at the top and say create empty. And what we'll do is it'll create an empty game object within our scene. And then within our scene you will see it sort of maybe close to your character if that's where you want it to be. Maybe raise it up a little bit so it's a little bit sort of ahead of your character and out of the way a little bit. Now on the right hand side in the inspect what we can do is we can add component. And what we can search in here is we want to search cloth and we want to apply the cloth modifier to it. We can also do it by going up to component, physics and cloth and it will do the same thing. So now we've got a skin mesh renderer and a cloth component on the actual empty game object and you, as I said you can do this with a 3D model or a plane or anything like that that you might have made in Unity or brought in from a 3D program. Now whether or not it has it already it'll have an empty mesh object here and because it needs to have a mesh which you can apply the physics to. Now, if we click the little sort of uh, the plus box to search what we need, it'll show all the different meshes that I've got within my um, Unity project. So if I search plane, I want to actually apply a plane to that. And you can apply any object that you want, but I'm going to choose the plane that comes with Unity. Now it might end up being pink because it might not be able to find the material that you want to use. So you might want to add your own material here. And I'm just going to add this red material that I've got here. What I might want to do is I'll change it to grey so it's more sort of standardised. And now we've got that selected, you can see the wireframe, and you can see that it has a lot of different um, polygons in. And we need to make sure that it has a lot of polygons to be able to make it sort of look realistic when we're applying physics to make a cloth. So now we've got that together, what we need to do is we need to edit the constraints. Now this is the new thing in Unity 5. Now if we click on edit constraints, you will see all the vertexes that are made up of this mesh. And if we click paint, and what we're going to do is actually paint where we're going to constrain the mesh. So we can click on each of these vertexes, because you can see when I highlight them, if I zoom in a little bit more, I highlight them, I can then left click on them and constrain this top edge, because I want it to act like, let's say, a large curtain. And now I've got that in, I can untick constraint, and if I show you again, if I go back on it, you can see it's a constraint at the top. Now if I then press play, you will see that my cloth will now be constrained to the top, but it doesn't really do anything that exciting. It might move slowly um, based on what it has, but we can add some external acceleration to the cloth to make it maybe uh, simulate wind like I did in a different tutorial. Now if I apply 0.5 to the Z axis we just get a tiny bit of movement to look like wind might be applying itself to that mesh. Now essentially that's pretty much it for the basis of setting up um, a mesh to act like a piece of cloth. But if you then want to take it a step further and use your character to sort of knock in and out and knock the mesh around, it's again slightly different. It's This is a system using, it, you can use capsule or sphere colliders. Now, your first person controller, if it's brought in from the Unity 5 first person controller, what we need to do is we need to make sure that it's got a capsule collider on. Now, I don't know if there's a better workaround than this or if there's a different way of doing this, but the first person um, controller has a built-in collider on it, so it acts with a rigid body. Now, we can't actually use this to work with the cloth, because if you see down here, we can use two sets of collisions which will collide with the cloth. We can use sphere or capsule colliders. Now, if I have a, the capsule collider down here and I set the array size to 1, you can see that I'll be able to add a new capsule collider here. Now we can obviously make another object, which might be a sphere, add a capsule collider to it, or as a sphere collider, and we'll be able to push it in and out of the cloth to make it move. Now to make this work with the character, what I'm going to do is go component, 
physics and capsule collider and you can see the capsule collider in between the normal collider which the character already has what I can do is I can change the actual height of it to match the character let's say and this is just a, a, an example and in my capsule colliders slot I will add my first person controller in there and you will see that it's the FPS controller capsule collider now um, a good way to test it is if we press play you'll notice that I'm in game now if I flip back to my scene select the first person controller and I select it whilst the game is playing I can move it into that cloth and affect it based on the collider what I'm of which I'm using and it'll only be affected by the collider that we've actually set it or given it and you can do it similarly with say we quickly select a creative 3d object and a sphere here and we've got this sphere it's got its own sphere collider on it we'll go back to the cloth we'll go on sphere colliders add one we'll say that the first collider we're going to add the sphere in here we'll do exactly the same thing play it I'll go back into my scene I'll grab the sphere and I'll push it into the cloth as if we want to affect it so essentially that's pretty much the sort of simplicity of just having your cloth and being able to use a character or a different object to affect that in terms of physics so hopefully that helped some people out thanks very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers